Hi and welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. This is the channel for you who'd like to empower yourself and your business so you can strengthen your leadership, become more happy and get more success. Today is about Blue Monday. Blue Monday is the day that the Brits have defined as the most depressing day a year. It's a quiet, dark, grey day. So how do you get through this day? And as a leader, how do you create a space for your employees in where they thrive rather than becoming depressed and unproductive? Because as a leader, you actually have the power and the influence to create spaces in which your employees thrive and thereby become more productive and loyal to the company rather than being blue. I'd like to offer you some inspiration and some advice on how you can deal with this. Because you see, I'm born and raised in Copenhagen in Denmark. And in Scandinavia, we have a certain way and a culture for dealing with being blue. Because we have to live through long and dark winters. So here's a little story about what we culturally have been doing for decades. See, in the old times, let's say, for example, in a little fisherman's village, people would gather together at the end of the day. They would sit together in a house and they would look at the sky together in silence. Together, they would watch how the sky would turn from day to night. That is what we call the blue hour. In the blue hour, you have a lot of different shades of grey in the sky. It's so beautiful and it's part of what have founded the Danish and Norwegian and Swedish sense of aesthetic. We have an appreciation for the subtlety, for the different shades of grey. And in that we find beauty and peace. So how can you as a leader use this cultural insight, knowledge, to create a space for your employees in which they thrive on Blue Monday, a space where they're productive and they do well, rather than being depressed about that it's Blue Monday today. I have three advices for you. First of all, don't fight it. Accept it. Accept that it's Blue Monday, accept that it's dark, that it's grey, and talk with your employees, with your team about this. You as a leader have a strong influence on how your team perceive other things, also struggles. Second, use silence as a management tool. Create a frame, take some, out some time in which you and your team are silent together, just for a few minutes, consciously silence. If it's something you, you agreed on just for two minutes, it doesn't have to be embarrassing. Do it and then let people tend to their work. You will see that this creates a stronger coherence among your team and better work because they're more focused and more concentrated. Thirdly, try and create a little bit of hygge at the office. Hygge is a Scandinavian cultural concept. It's a way of socially connect together in a very silent and very nice way. You see, research shows that employees who feel well with their co-workers they are more loyal and more productive at work. We also do hygge at work in Scandinavia. It's a way of penetrating the darkness, getting energy and a social feeling of coherence. So what can you do? See, it's very simple. Maybe you just brew a nice pot of tea or you make some, a good cup of coffee. We light some candles, we relax and then we tend to work. And everybody feels better while they're working. So they become more productive and happier. So happy Blue Monday and please give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We love to hear what you think about our video and even better subscribe to our channel and get more empowering videos.